In this video, we're going to be covering the highly requested AI. So here we have our example map open. There's the seagull. And to add AI, what you want to do is, firstly, let me just go here. We're going to just have scenario. You want to open up scenario, go into objects, units, and then bifids. Here, you want to click edit types and then add. So for this example, we'll be adding grunts into last resort. So it'll start you off in the tag section maybe. And from the tag section, you want to go to objects, characters, scroll down a bit to see grunt. And then right here, the grunt bifed. You want to click that, double click it, and done. Now you might see some stuff pop up here, that's fine. Click OK. Okay, so we're done with that. Now the next thing you want to do is open up the AI tab and here under squads you want to click squads and click new instance. Then it'll say squad zero. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it squad zero and I'm going to change the team. Now we're going to be adding grunts so let's change team to covenant. So now that we have this squad zero you want to open that up and you'll see fire teams. Now again, with fire team selected, click new instance. And you'll see this container that says none. Or folder, sorry. So now what we want to do is click edit types. And your object class might be something different here. It might be scenery, but you want to change it to character. And then click add. Now again, you want to go into your objects characters and let's go to grunt and you want to make sure you go into the AI folder. Now let's just add the main grunt character, double click that and let's also double click grunt heavy and then we'll select done. So we have these two added and now let's click OK. So here under character type let's select grunt, initial weapon, plasma pistol, and grenade type, covenant plasma. Now, with this selected grunt, so this will change, by the way, depending on what character type you have. See, grunt heavy, grunt. So let's have it selected and let's just place right click one, two, three, four, five. We'll do one more here, six. So we have these six grunts placed, but you notice there's nothing here. So the way to actually place them is if you right click here and click play squads, but then you'll notice again, there's still nothing here. That's because you need to click this and then it says normal difficulty count. We just made six markers here. So let's change that to six. Now, if you right click on play on squad zero, click play squads, you'll see we have six grunts. So this is double check that they're working. Yep, firing and stuff. So let's say you now want a, you can see they're still shooting chief right there, some heavy grunts. Let's go ahead and go under squads. And then again, click new instance. We'll have the squads one, change the team to covenant. And again, plus fire teams and you want to click new instance and then you want to select this this is none let's change this to grunt heavy initial weapon let's give them a needler and plasma or covenant plasma so now let's just click maybe here one two three four five six and we can actually place that squad and we'll also place this squad. Oh, I actually forgot to change this normal difficulty count to six. So the last thing we're going to want to do now is under each squad, you're going to see here squads one and squad zero. You want to click initially placed and make sure that's checked. This way, when you load into the map, the AI will be already spawned. That's really important to do. Otherwise, you'll load the map and nothing will be there. So you'll see here, we'll have our 
heavy grunts as you can see because I think they'll have some green on them yep they have the needlers you can see they're stronger then up ahead there we'll have our regular grunts so that's pretty much it for this AI tutorial and yeah I'll see you guys on the next episode